Hello guys, Survival Tech here. Hey, today I wanted to show you the uh, Mobile Linked uh, Bluetooth TNC uh, with my Wuxung uh, KG819 uh, and the Samsung uh, Galaxy hardcover. So, go ahead and show you how simple this whole thing is. Well, we've got the cable. We've got the Bluetooth TNC itself. We've got the Samsung Galaxy hardcover. We have the uh, Wuxun KG819. The bag is uh, insignificant, really. And of course we have the antenna for the uh, KG819. This is the stock antenna that comes with it. It's it's So this is the uh, Wuxun KG819 that I use with my uh, uh for APRS and it's also a backup radio and uh, you've heard me talk about them in other videos. I use them uh, I call this the idiot proof radio. I just toss them out to other people who don't have uh, the proper radio capabilities that we need. But for this uh, video, we talk about it as a uh, tracker radio for the uh, for APRS. Uh, the way I've set up the radio, uh, and you have to do everything through software, but it, it only takes like 15 or 20 seconds to change out, uh, uh, to reprogram it. Um, I, I make different profiles uh, depending on what I'm going to do. So I have a profile for APRS, a profile for satellites, a profile for uh, search and rescue, and, and things like that. Um, Anyway, and those work out well for me um, because I don't really need to change this radio very often and then there's also no complicated buttons or display or anything to break. It's just a, basically it's a hammer that transmits. So, uh, first five frequencies I have set up for APRS. So channel one I have at APRS uh, Europe, channel two APRS uh, USA, uh, channel three is a ATRF alternate? No, I'm sorry, channel 3 is a APRS satellite for ISS and GO32. Uh, channel 4 is APRS alternate and channel 5, I think it's APRS alternate USA, if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, the next uh, uh, five channels uh, is 2 meter repeaters and then after that I have some simplex channels and uh, weird offsets and things like that uh, uh, to cover all 16 of the memory channels. Anyway, no matter. So, we'll go ahead and plug this radio into the uh, tracker. Sorry, it's not a tracker, it's a TNC. Let's turn on the radio and you see that I... I find that the volume and the TNC works really well at about, with the volume set at about 40%. So, We'll go ahead and click here, uh, start tracking. You'll see the light change on the TNC. Great. It'll wait for a GPS lock and then it'll transmit by position. Which it just did. Outstanding. What I want to say about so, this setup, guys, uh, I've got this uh, IP55 mil standard radio. I've got this... Uh, Bluetooth TNC for mobile linked um, and the Samsung Galaxy uh, hardcover uh, running APRS droid and come on guys uh, don't be dicks uh, buy the APRS droid from the Google market uh, the guy makes it uh, for free you know and although you can get it for free from the website I mean uh, support uh, the developer let the guy make a little bit of money and he'll put more uh, resources into it, I'm sure. Um, it's that simple. Anyway, back to the point. This is my tracker setup. I hate to call it a tracker. I don't have another word. Um, look, with the same functionality, for example, let's say that you were buying the Kenwood uh, TH uh, D72. Yeah, what is that? Uh, three, four hundred bucks now? So. Uh, I used an old phone, my son's old phone, 50 bucks on the TNC, uh, 60 bucks on the radio, and 4 bucks for the software. Uh, <laughs> do the math. Uh, this is a, 
actually a, a really brilliant thing. And if you're really into like survival communications, and I don't mean survival communications in that you know how to receive uh, data and things like that. I mean if you're a real hardcore radio guy uh, or person, because I have a few female subscribers there too. Um, if you're a real hardcore radio person, you know, and you're into amateur radio and you're into developing your skills and things like that, APRS is one of the things that's absolute uh, plus. Yeah? Uh, get into it. Learn from it. You learn indirectly. When you're doing the APRS, you'll indirectly learn about your radios, your cables, you know, interacting uh, with other hams uh, indirectly. Yeah? And, and it's all about the learning. So this is my setup. Uh, I have many different setups. Uh, I don't need to do videos on the Kenwoods or the Yezus or, or, you know, the Windows software or anything like that. Unless you guys ask me to, I can. But there's a lot of videos already on YouTube about them. Um, this is uh, my simple setup. It, uh, what do you call it? The uh, telephone is in my pocket. Uh, the the uh, radio and the TNC are in the backpack. Yeah, out of the way. Oh, by the way, let me show you where they actually go. So, I use this. I don't know if you can see it. This is a uh, waterproof radio bag from Aquapack. It's called the VHF Large. Yeah. Um, I use this. It's totally waterproof, not like uh, rainproof or splash proof. Uh, and it's certainly a lot higher quality than these Chinese freezer bags that they are selling on eBay or Amazon. Uh, Aquapack. It's a magnificent uh, radio pouch. I put the radio and the TNC in there, even though they're in the backpack. Um, I can also wear this on my body. It's got a three-point harness, which can be configured in different ways. Believe it or not, guys, this Aqua Pack radio bag, I bought it to use uh, with my uh, HT radios uh, for my motorcycle. Uh, in year 2000, I think it was, when I was working in Switzerland. So that might tell you something. Um, and I use the hell out of this bag uh, for search and rescue. And when I'm riding the motorcycles in the summer months here, I don't ride in the winter here because it's, it's like Ice Planet X. So that's the whole setup. Radio, TNC, smartphone. Uh, waterproof bag for the radio and the TNC, and uh, my life goes on. Rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.